What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend. As you all can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about a new car that I'm going to be hopefully picking up tomorrow. So let's get started with this video so I can go into more details. Before we get started and I go into details about the car that I may be getting this week, I want to share with you guys a few updates about my turbo build and the progress and what's going on. As you guys can see, there isn't much done to the car since my last video. I'm waiting on my drag radiator to come in and might be changing my RBC manifold to a Skunk 2 Ultra. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be choosing to go with, but I know that I'm not going to be sticking with the RBC manifold as I'm really trying to get max power. As you guys can also see, Kevin's car is not here. He ran into some problems last night. He took it to Orlando, so it's actually at a friend's house right now. He has to go pick it up. It was a long night for him. He got home at like five in the morning. Super crazy. I was hanging out with family yesterday while he was um, in Orlando. So his car is not here. It's actually really nice to have the whole entire garage space to myself as we don't get to have that often. We have four cars. Kevin also stole his seat back. That bride seat was actually his. The Kirky seat over there is mine. Once I get the roll cage installed, I'm gonna be putting two Kirky seats in the car. It's been like a full two months now that I haven't driven this car. I actually really miss driving. Driving was my getaway, it was my escape. It was just something that I absolutely love to do. I love to race at the track. There is nothing like the adrenaline rush that you get from being at the drag strip. Once you're planted at that light and getting ready to launch the car, that feeling is just indescribable. So I am so excited and I cannot wait to get this car back running and see the best time that I can do. I'm really hoping that with practice, I can run nines. We'll just have to find out and see if I can make that happen. So for those who do not know, Kevin has a fully built K24 motor. Um, it makes 315, I believe, horsepower on pump 93 gas, which is pretty good. I really enjoy driving his car but I absolutely hate right-hand drive. If his car was actually on the normal side that it's supposed to be on, then I would probably be taking his car to the track. But ever since he did the swap, he's run into issue after issue. Started with the transmission, he got that done, and now he's just having very simple, small problems, to be honest. I have so much plans for the car, guys. Once the motor is pretty much put together, I have the turbo kit on, I've been considering going with a full, uh, wide carbon front end. I absolutely love carbon fiber so I think this car would look really nice with the whole full carbon fenders and the front bumper with slicks it pokes out a lot so that's why a lot of people get the wide front ends because it just looks a lot better eventually I would love to get carbon fiber doors for right now I have a set of cut doors that I will be getting painted to match the car and that's probably what I'll be putting on for now as far as the back I want to do a carbon fiber trunk and then get the wing and also eventually get the parachute I'm thinking when I go ahead and get the roll cage, I'll just go ahead and get the full setup so I never have to worry about it. And as I get faster, the car will be legal for the track. Now, as far as wheels, I haven't really decided on what street wheels I want. I actually had Volk TE37s, as you guys can see on my previous video, when I announced the new wheels set up for this car. Those wheels I gave to Kevin as they look a lot better on his car and they were just a little bit too aggressive for my car. So for the track, I have a set of Lenzos. These Lenzos are a classic drag wheel. I want to get a set of matching skinnies to go with these. So this is gonna be my drag setup, but I still have not decided on what to get for the street since I've gave Kevin my street wheels. So that's enough about this car. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update as to what's going on and what my future plan is and just talk a little bit more about the car because I haven't posted much in over a week. So I'm hoping that my parts come in this week. I'm going to need the radiator and the manifold in order to get the piping done on the car. I'm gonna be doing as much as I can with the car myself, but certain things like fab work, I'm not a welder, so I cannot do the piping and all of that. I will do a whole nother video on the fabrication process of the car. So guys, let's get started with the real reason why you all clicked on this video, is to find out what my next car is gonna be. So I wanna go back a little bit and explain to you guys what I currently drive. Many people have asked, what is my daily? And I kind of avoid the question because it's not a cool car, it's not a fast car. So to give you guys a little bit of background on why I even have this car as a daily is because 
When my S2000 caught on fire, Kevin had just raffled off his Mugen and we were literally left with nothing but the Integra. The Integra was literally the only car that we had at the moment. I needed something extremely fast. I needed something to get me to work because the Integra obviously is a car that you do not want to drive every day. So I had to make a quick decision and at the time, I just needed something to get to and from work. We ended up getting a rental car just to go take a look at another car because we literally had nothing but the Integra. So it took us about four cars to actually look at so I found the one that I have. It is a 2006 Honda Civic EX. So here is my daily that I have had for the past year. This car has been absolutely amazing to me. It's given me no issues at all. I am simply just getting rid of it because this is not my dream car or the car that I had planned to ever buy. This car was just a quick car that I had to purchase as we had nothing at the time. It's been absolutely amazing to me. All I've really done is tinted the windows add a little music but that's pretty much it i kept the car stock because this was supposed to be just a car that i was going to use to get around and then sell which is exactly what i'm doing now a year later but within this year i was able to save up for the car i actually want and i cannot wait to show you guys in the next video a few months after purchasing that car is when i got the em1 for a really great deal at the time the insurance had gave me a really good check and i could have purchased another s2000 but at the time the s2000 was my daily it was my show car it was everything it was the only car that i had to my name and i did not want to go back to driving the same car that i'm putting all the money into every single day so i had enough money to purchase two vehicles I purchased the K-Swap EM1 and I purchased my daily with the amount of money that I got back from the insurance for my S2000. And I actually had some money left over on top of that. So in the end, I just had to make the best decision for myself. I purchased a daily, I purchased a project car that was already K-Series. The previous owner of this car is actually a really close friend of ours. So we knew pretty much everything that was done to the car. And we knew that the car was previously in really great hands. I have transformed this car from a stock Civic SI to something in my liking. I added a lot of carbon pieces, I added the carbon hood, I added a carbon lip, I completely gutted out the interior, I added my seat, I've got the interior painted and all of that stuff. To be honest, when I purchased this car, my plans were to never build a drag car. I just wanted something that was nice and fun and that I could take on the street and have fun with and I could take to car shows and things of that matter. The track thing kind of came along. I was like, you know what? Let me take this car to track and see what it can do. And from there, I was instantly hooked. any of the adrenaline that you get from driving at the drag strip it is a complete different feeling it's literally like an addiction so after my first couple of passes at the track i wanted to go faster my best time today is 12.4 with a stock k20 motor again the only thing i had done to the car was just an intake headers exhaust the basic bolt-ons that you pretty much would put on any car all right so i kind of went off topic here but let's get back into my new car that i will hopefully be bringing home on tuesday tomorrow i am driving down south to go take a look at it and then hopefully i am going to be driving back down with it on tuesday this decision was actually pretty tough i knew that i wanted my next car to be a four-door car i am a family person i'm always hanging out with my mother and my grandmother the car had to be family friendly and I wanted it to be fast, I wanted it to be fun, and I just wanted it to be something that I would be excited to wake up every day and drive. So unfortunately, you guys will not find out what the car is on this video, but I want you guys to take a guess below on what my next car is going to be. I am so excited because I've been driving this boring Civic every single day for the past year. It's actually been one full year that I've owned the car, so I'm ready to just get rid of it. It would be sad to let her go, but the time has come. It is time for me to drive the car that I have always wanted. I want you guys to guess. Comment below. Let me know what you think my next car is going to be in the comments. The first person to guess it right will be winning a free poster and air freshener. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to give it a few days, and once I finally announce the car, I'm going to go back to the comments and see who the first person was to guess it right. I'm going to comment back and let you know to send me an email with your information so I can mail you your goodies. So that's it for today's video. I went in a little bit of details and explained to you guys the background, how I got started with this car, what made me buy this car, and all of that stuff. So be on the lookout for the next video. I'm going to hopefully be posting it before this Friday 
what my next car is going to be. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I have gained so many subscribers within the past week. I want to welcome you all to my channel. I have a lot of cool content coming, so be sure to be on the lookout. I'll catch you guys in the next video.